After weeks of warning, police in Englewood are finally moving homeless people living along the South Platte River away from that area. I'm Alan Janae. Good to have you with us this afternoon. Our Joel Hillen headed back to that five block stretch this morning to see how this process is working today. So, Joel, tell us about progress. Are they making any? Yeah, Alan, a lot of progress has been made already. They've had those two large industrial sized dumpsters that they were able to fill up and haul away yesterday. They have been working with the homeless community here to separate what is the junk uh, that's alongside the river and then begin to, to take those things which they can keep. You can see here behind me and they put a pile up along the side of the road. They can then take these items and then take them off site. They are able to keep these items. Now, this has been a bigger mess than police originally thought. Uh, a lot of garbage out there. We talked about those two original dumpsters. Well, they've had to have two more this morning. Two more will be filled this afternoon, and they say they've only uh, about halfway through this. But all in all, uh, police say that things have gone smoothly. We've learned today that we've got a lot of voluntary compliance going on. We, by and large, have people that have chosen to move out. We have not had to arrest anyone. We're very happy with that. We're encountering a lot more trash than we had initially projected. We're not able to keep up with uh, dumpster load. So they have the signs up here that say closed for revegetation. So once they get everything moved off site, then they're going to come in and start the reseeding process. And Alan, they hope the municipal code that they have passed will prevent this from ever happening again. Live in Inglewood, Joel Hillen covering Colorado First. Yeah, you wonder where some folks will go now. Joel, thanks a lot. For